Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, January 6, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon if you want access to this full technical analysis of all the commodities that are available on, on Etoro and also our single service and so on and so on. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have fallen quite significantly today. We're down more than half a percent in the US dollar index. And this has had uh, quite an uh, uh, effect on, for example, on, on oil, also on gold and also indices of commodities and so on. We are Basically, we broke these previous lows here, and at this point, we are most likely going to go lower. We are on the edge of being oversold. Technical indicators are very bearish at this point. Um, every move towards the 20 exponential is basically a selling opportunity at this stage, and it doesn't look like there's any uh, end in sight for this depreciation of the US dollar. Um, if we manage to break above the 20, we have the 50 here. And even though we managed to break through, through the 50 like we did uh, previously, we still need to get through the 200 moving average. And that will take weeks and months probably before that ever happens. So let's look at, uh, look at oil. So oil is becoming very interesting. We basically broke to above $50 um, uh, today. And um, well... We are getting very overstretched here. I don't believe that we are going to go significantly higher here. If you look at the Bollinger Band, for example, for, for this market, we can see that we are outside of the Bollinger Band. Yesterday, when we were outside, we broke all the way down towards the middle of the Bollinger Band. We can also see here when we're outside, we broke down and here and here and so on. So we are overstretched. This, of course, was due to news of... Um, uh, production cuts and uh, and so on by Russia and uh, I think it was from Saudi Arabia and so on. But technically, it was basically very bullish news that uh, that popped this market today. That bullish news is going to be the, uh, forgotten tomorrow. That's what, how news basically works. It's very short term and then the market comes back down to earth. At this point, people are buying into the news and uh, therefore we are getting significantly overstretched. And what will happen is that we'll fall at least towards the middle here of roughly 48.44 or where I think we'll go all the way down to the middle of the 20, where the exponential moving average is at roughly 47.5. There's where I think this market will go. And then we'll have a small range in between um, and then we'll figure out where we're going, if we go higher or lower. The... I. Don't favor the upside. I think this move is just doesn't make any sense. This move was purely speculation in my view. So vaccine, stimulus, production cuts, technically OPEC news and so on, what was basically driving this market higher. It was definitely not demand because the world economy is in terrible shape at this current stage. And uh, usually when the market goes, the world economy goes down, this market goes down with it and it's going absolutely opposite way and mainly due to speculation and not demand. So at some point, we are going to see this market fall off a cliff. And uh, the question is just when that is going to occur. Technical indicators for this are still fairly bullish. So we may see some kind of choppiness here. Uh, but if we don't manage to break well above 50 uh, tomorrow or on Tuesday, Thursday session, then we are going to break back towards the 20 exponential. So let's look at natural gas. So as you can see, we have rallied yet again today. We were up roughly uh, 4%. Um, and then we gave some of those gains back. So we are testing these previous lows, uh, these previous highs here. We have the 50 moving average above and... Uh, I think this is just technically just more of the same. We can see this move here. We broke down, rallied to the 20, broke down, rallied to the 20, broke down, rally up towards the 20, above the 20, and now broke down, rally above the 20. So 
what makes the market go significantly higher is basically weather conditions. So demand when it's extreme cold weather and so on, uh, that is basically what gets this market to go basically parabolical. Uh, we saw a move similar to that uh, earlier, uh, la late last year, um, but now we basically broke towards the um, 200 moving average. I think that we're gonna see enormous amount of resistance at the 50, and then we're gonna break back towards the 200 moving average. That is what I think is gonna happen in this market because uh, forecast for January is that January is gonna be warmer than anticipated, um, basically normal than usual, and therefore demand for natural gas will also be lower. Technical indicators are still very bullish, but I think that we are just going to see more of the same, similar to this and this, even though we are trading above the 20 exponential moving average at this point. So let's look at copper. We can see that copper has rallied significantly higher today. We're up, we are at 3.647. Uh, 3.7 uh, is most likely the target at this point. We are nearly overbought, but seriously, copper has been um far higher than that um in in only a few, two weeks ago it was at 40 uh, no 84 and uh, then we basically saw this breakdown so there's a lot of room to the upside before um this should break down um but if you look at techni other technical indicators they are also uh very bullish at this point so i think that we'll find some kind of resistance at the 3.7 um and then we'll probably go back towards um, these previous um, highs here at roughly uh, 3.6. So pullbacks are buying opportunity for, for copper. So let's look at gold. So gold went a little bit higher today, but it looks like we are running into quite some exhaustion. This is very similar to this move. Massive candlestick, small candlestick, and then bang, a massive collapse. I don't think that we're going to collapse like this. I think that we are going to collapse towards the uh, this trend line. So we can get it up here. I think that we are going to collapse towards this trend line, and then we are going to rally again. There is enormous amount of resistance in this area here, and it will probably uh, go will not rally at once above this resistance, it will basically be a slow grind uh, up to the very highs. But gold has changed um, from being bearish to being basically bullish. This move here has technically come to an end. And from now on, we most likely will see gold go significantly higher because people are going to use this as a safe haven in the times to come. And um, it will be very bullish for gold. So let's look at silver. Silver has also rallied today. The same goes for silver. We have this uh, resistant area here, which will be fairly difficult to get through, but it will get through it. So the target is basically these very highs. That is roughly $29 uh, or roughly $30. Um, that is basically the target. We have a very steep support line here. So a break towards this support line is basically your entry to this market. We can see that the 20 moving uh, exponential moving average is moving this way. The 50 will move this way and they will also act as support. So break down, break downs towards this line is basically your entry point and then you can target these very highs. So let's look at platinum. So we have rallied yet again today. We are trading at 11.09. And uh, yes, the 20 exponential is basically the bottom of this market. Every single time we basically pull back towards the 20 exponential, that is your entry to this market. It has been fairly stable for a very long time now. It has gone quite parabolical, this market. If you look at the Bollinger Band, you can basically see that we are way outside of the Bollinger Band. So buying this at this current stage is just not a good idea. You can see what happened here. Pull back to the middle, 
we saw we were outside yesterday pull back to the middle and tomorrow session we are most likely going to see something similar uh, a pull back to the middle and then we probably are going to see more slow grinding moves to the upside we are in uptrend we have been for uh, actually a very long time all the way back since since march and uh, yes this is basically just going to go higher but the buy-in at this stage um, is not a good idea pullbacks towards the middle here roughly 1.033 that is your entry point with a stop loss right underneath that so let's look at pallium So we have tested these previous highs yet again, and uh, this is becoming very, very volatile, but still we are within this range. We are not breaking through. Every single time we get to these levels here, we basically fall back down. So we have this range as well. So the highs, the lows, and at this point, I am basically thinking to short this. We are on the edge of being overbought uh, and we are way outside of the Bullinger Band and we are basically testing these previous highs which we have tested several times before and then we are broken down quite significantly. So if what I see weakness in this market tomorrow, I will start basically shorting this towards the middle of the Bullinger Band which is at 2.341. And if that breaks, then we are heading all the way down to these very lows. So this has been occurring time and time again um, with a little bit of interval here. Not exactly at this area, but roughly around this area. But every time you start trading this far outside of the Bullinger Band, it is a very bad sign. You can see what happened here, what happened here, here, and also here. And now this is much more aggressive and we most likely will see uh, a massive pullback towards the middle of the Bullinger Band. So let's look at aluminium. So as you can see, we have rallied yet again today. We, have, yeah, this was um, a fail from my part. We should have basically entered the market here. It was basically at the bottom of the bullish band, as you can see as well. It was uh, basically a natural trade to, to enter this market. Now it's too late. We are going to touch the, probably the top of the Bollinger Band to uh, Mara's session. And then this is going to fall back towards the middle of the Bollinger Band, probably even lower. And then we'll most likely get a second try. Um, it makes no sense of basically entering this at this point. Pull back towards the 20 exponential and the rally from there, that, it, that does make sense. But this trade has basically gone at this current stage. You know, the technical indicators are fairly... Uh, bullish at this point i don't like uh, start trading uh, buying into the things when they already started rallying because they can pull back at any point so let's look at nickel nickel not nickel back but nickel so we have continued this rally we are starting to becoming very overstretched we're basically going to test these previous highs here and we're getting at basically the top of the bullish band when we do we are most likely pull back towards the middle here and also the where the 20 exponential moving average is which is at roughly 16 uh, 17 thousand um, and then you basically can start entering the, for a buy into this market the technical indicators are very bullish at this point but we are on the edge of being overbought but pullbacks are basically buying upper opportunities at this stage so let's look at sugar so sugar is a uh, way 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 outside of the bullish band and at this current stage uh, we are expecting a massive pullback towards at least uh, 0 0.15 that is where i think this market is going um it is a very common thing for most of these uh, uh, commodities. They have been very slow, moving really slow, and all of a sudden they just absolutely explode. It probably also has to something to do with the uh, US dollar index, uh, US dollar depreciating uh, as much as it is. But moves like these, they usually end with a massive crash. We can see what happened here. We fell all the way down, basically to the bottom of the bullish band, even way below the 50 moving average so this is a fall 
from 0.15 all the way down to 0.14, which is fairly massive move in this market. But it is not a good idea to buy here. Pull back towards the, but the middle here is actually possible to sell it, but not a very good idea to sell, um, sell an uptrend. So let's look at cotton. So cotton is also getting very overstretched. You can see what happened here when we were outside of the bullish band, pull back to the middle here, pull back to the middle. And also we're going to see something very similar, a pullback towards the middle of the Bollinger Band. Uh, it is not a good idea as normal to buy when it's basically outside of Bollinger Band. Even though technical indicators are very bullish, we are significantly overbought at this current point. So a uh, pullback is inevitable at this point. But roughly uh, 0.75, 19 is where you can enter a buy into this market. So let's look at Kakoa. So we uh, tested the bottom of the Bollinger Band and we are trading just at the 50 moving average. Technical indicators are looking dreadful. So yes, it is still really difficult to say where this market is going. It's basically, well, it's, you can look at it this way. It, we have the highs here and we have the previous lows here. And at this current stage, we're just right in the middle of things. So. It is basically the worst position to enter a trade at this current stage. So I have no interest in basically entering this. We have quite a lot of support underneath as well from the 250. And then we have resistance from above from two, the 20 exponential moving average. And yes, so not a good idea. Just wait and to see what happens here. So let's look at wheat. We can see that. We rallied above the Bollinger Band and now pulled back. And at this current state, I think that we're going to drop towards the, the 20 exponential, roughly 618. And there you'll find buyers come back in and buy, start buying this again. So it will probably take around the three trading days, so roughly uh, Fridays and Mondays in the session next week. It will be possible to buy into weed again. At this current stage, we need a drop towards the, the middle before we can enter this market. So if you have any questions, just write to me on Patreon. Otherwise, good luck and thank you very much.